Interview and job search strategies that work. You know, um, I'll tell you, working in IT, one of the things um, that you see is um, you can see that the, the jobs are easy, basically, right? Like, IT job is so easy, yet um, there's others who's, who aren't, who, who can't. And people want to make it so hard. They want to make it so difficult, like, oh, it's so hard to get a job, or they... They, they just put, you know, limitations, basically, just, you know, and rather than just start doing something, they just say, well, I don't know, and all this other stuff, and I don't know what it is, but that's one of the factors, you're, or one of the things you're going to run into in, in IT is, um, especially when you see how easy it is to make money uh, in IT, and it, pretty much it's probably that or sales are probably the only Right now, nowadays, are the easiest jobs to get make money. By the way, anyway, so the major dilemma is this, right? So here you are, you're doing great, awesome IT job, and um, all you want to do is just show people how easy it is to get an IT job, right? And um, I don't know. That's the biggest frustration, actually. So. Um, because here you are, you can see it, but you know that other folks, like, oh, yeah, I need a job. And you, like, tell them, yeah, this is how, I, just get a job in IT. And, you, you you know, you give them the steps, you give them the, um, it, you know, obviously, right? Uh, but that's, that's the thing, right, with humans, as we are. We, um, we adapt differently. You know, we, we view things differently. You know, different approaches. Uh, the tone, and maybe the tone, and maybe who you are, um, you know, whatnot. I'll tell you a story, right? So, for instance, uh, this this may or may not help, right? I have a relative who um, went um, went to school for programming, right? And did programming, and then didn't do anything with it for I don't know seven years, six years, something like that, and. And is now uh, doing it, thankfully, right? And it's like, yeah, awesome, right? I have another relative who graduated high school, has an IT job right out of the get-go. I have another relative who graduated college <laughs> and it makes about half the money as the one who graduated high school, right? And can you imagine this, right? So here you have a high school student who, you know, is making, say... 36,000 uh, a year, roughly, almost 40,000 a year, right? And then you have another relative who graduated college uh, making like 30,000 a year, 25, 30,000 a year. Anyway, and you, you, you say to the person who has a degree, you're like, I get it, you have a degree. Yeah, you want to get in that profession, right? All that, right? But why not try the IT thing? Why not try it? And, and still do that. You can always do that thing that you have a degree in, you know. And I'll, that's really much advice for everybody. If you have a degree, you can always do that. Your degree doesn't go away. But you're only, let's say, you're only 18 to 25 one time, basically. And the key is to earn as much money as possible. And, and then do what you want. Just have a nice cushion, nice money cushion. And then do what you want to do. Because strike while the iron's hot, basically. Uh, otherwise, life will just pass you by, which is okay. You know, it's no big deal, right, if that's what you want to do. And really, that's what I see uh, as the, 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 the big difference, right? And it's kind of frustrating sometimes because you see how easy it is. And I'm sure it's the same way if you're like a, a, a multimillionaire who's who didn't have a high school diploma even, and you're just, you can see how easy it is, and then you talk to somebody who, like, why don't you get it, right? And that that's kind of the same thing. And by the way, if you're out there and if you're a multimillionaire um, and you want to give me advice on how to become a multimillionaire, please do that because I would love to have it. Um, I'd probably take, even I take, you know, even I take, you know, 20% of your advice, that's still more than, uh, that's still good because it's coming from, you know, a multimillionaire basically. And you, 
your perspective is different than mine. And I always see IT because I just see how easy it is to, to get a job in IT. And it's, it's a little different than entrepreneur where you have to have a business, where you're starting a business and the work that goes into that. Because uh, as you probably know, most people, um, most people when it gets hard, they quit. Um, and unfortunately, that's IT, by the way. I mean, just like anything else, if you get into a, a job and you, it's too hard or you just see, if you keep saying why you can't, then you're never going to see why you can. And um, I guess what I'm saying is just do one thing a day, just one little thing a day. And, and if you just do one thing, okay, I did that. Yeah. Okay, good. Now I, okay, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't, um, the, you know, wasn't there. The goal wasn't there. Okay, let me try again tomorrow. And uh, it's very, by the way, it's very easy to become discouraged in IT, 100%, because not a lot of people um, are around you that want to help, you know, and that's true, honestly, but there are some who do. And I will tell you that um, to, to kind of like, if you're new in IT, the, one of the good things to do is to go to meetups, actually. So go to a meetup and uh, meet like-minded folks who do what you do. So yeah. So thanks everybody listening to this podcast and have a great day.